وحبك يلي داناتك تزين كل بنات الحور وحبك يلي لبحورك تغنى كل طار الدور أحبك يلي داناتك تزين كل بنات الحور وحبك يلي لبحورك تغنى كل طار الدور وحبيت البحر نهى من ديني وحبيت عمري الصغير وكل أحلامي وسنيني يا بحرين يا بحرين يا نظر عيني أحبك Saudi Arabia's Minister of State of Foreign Affairs says that Iran Iran is a threat to the entire region and its aggression can no longer be tolerated. Yemeni government forces kill the Iran-backed Houthi militia commander Murtada al-Sharif. A six-story building collapses in Kenya's capital with at least two people killed and others trapped in the debris. Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, marking the centenary of the formation of the police in Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the outstanding level of readiness and proficiency attained by the Ministry of Interior, which bolsters security and stability for citizens and residents in the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister extended deepest thanks and appreciation to all the affiliates of the Interior Ministry and Public Security, hailing their dedicated efforts to maintain national security. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks from the Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa in reply to his congratulations on the centenary of the establishment of the Bahrain Police Force. The minister said that the centenary of Bahrain police is an opportunity to recall with pride the dedicated efforts exerted by the Interior Ministry's affiliates to maintain security and protect the nation's landmark achievements. He asserted that His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's constant support for the Interior Ministry has strengthened the police personnel's determination to continue assuming their patriotic duties to ensure that the cherished homeland remains secure and stable. The Interior Minister prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Royal Highness with abundant health and long life so as to continue building the nation during the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. And His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable to the Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa marking the centenary of the formation of the police in the Kingdom of Bahrain. He extended deepest congratulations and appreciation to all the affiliates of the Interior Ministry and Public Security, hailing their dedicated efforts to maintain national security, building on the nation's builder's endeavor. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised the ceremony, which was held last Wednesday under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, expressing pride and confidence in the present and future of the nation. He said that this ceremony reflected the levels of readiness, training and competence attained by the Ministry of Interior, hailing strenuous and dedicated efforts to achieve desired goals in this vital sector. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks from the Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa for attending the centenary of the establishment of the Bahrain Police. The Minister noted that His Royal Highness's attendance of the ceremony strengthened the determination of the police to continue with a high level of performance, carrying out their national duty and defending the security of Bahrain and protecting its gains. The Interior Minister prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Royal Highness with abundant health so as to continue building the nation during the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. 
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, will participate in the Middle East Ironman Championship 70.3, which begins tomorrow by holding swimming, biking and running competitions in Bahrain Bay. His Highness's most prominent achievement was during the Ironman World Championship that was held in Hawaii in the United States in October last year amid a large participation that reached to more than 3,000 participants. His Highness affirmed his re complete readiness to run in the Ironman competitions, indicating that he started preparations early to participate in the Ironman race by running many daily exercises to reach the physical and technical readiness to participate in the race, hoping to achieve distinguished results in the regional race and aspiring to achieve a new record in this championship. He added that the training program he participated in depends on endurance due to technical considerations specific to the race that requires physical and mental preparation different from other races. He noted that he is aware of the level of difficulty and challenges he will be facing, as well as the high level of competition, but he will enter the race with a determination and is aspiring to achieve great results. His Highness expressed his appreciation to all government, ministries, companies and private institutions for their cooperation with the organizing committee and keenness to produce a distinguished race that reflects the high potentials that characterize the administrative and technical caters of Bahrain. For his part, His Highness was keen to follow on his daughter, Her Highness, Sheikh Hashima bin Nasser Al Khalifa, and his son, His Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser Al Khalifa, and His Highness, Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the Iron Kids and Iron Girls competitions that were held within the activities accompanying the Ironman Middle East Championship. The aquathlon competitions that were held this morning witnessed a wide participation of children in the swimming and running races, as were the Iron Girls and Kids competitions, which witnessed a participation that amounted to nearly 900 participants. Bahrain will organize three races tomorrow, including a 1.9-kilometer swimming race, a 90-kilometer bike race, and a 21.1-kilometer running race. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the Ironman event commenced with a wide variety of activities, such as the Aquathlon, a press conference with prominent athletes and Iron Kids. More details in this report with Abdurrahman al -Sahaf. Today was the second day of the three-day action-packed Ironman event, which was held at the Avenues Park. Swimmers started off their endeavors early on this morning at 9 a.m. There was a variety of different events today. One of the events consisted of participants in swimming events, like the aquathlon, which features a combination of swimming alongside some running. I'm honestly, we're, I'm a Shura Council member and from the Youth Committee member uh, into the Shura Council. We're here to support this event and promote it as much as we can. Uh, Bahrain comes first for in all uh, our uh, priorities, you know, and we're here just to promote this event and uh, see that it's uh, done at the highest level and uh, we're very excited for this. I believe uh, it's important because uh, it helps uh, putting Bahrain names outside, uh, hosting a huge event like this. As you can see, uh, we have foreigners participating, so that's a good thing. In addition to that, kids were also given a platform to showcase their athletic side, not only through the aquathlon, but also through the Iron Kids and Girls category, which brought forth joy and provided a platform for future potential athletes. Well, it's great to be in Bahrain and I want to thank Your Highness Sheikh Nasir Al Khalif for inviting us and um, he has a great history of this event inviting, you know, been the Ironman's going for years and it's my first time here. I'm part of the legend team with Mark Cavendish, uh, Chloe and myself and it's my first time in Bahrain so I'm really excited. A press conference was also held which consisted of some of the most prominent names in a variety of different sports such as Sir Mofara. Chloe McCardle and Mark Cavendish. Today is a lovely day. We started yesterday the opening of Iron Man. Today is the second day. We just finished the aquathlon for kids and it was amazing. We had three of the legends here supporting all the kids. Each of these athletes emphasized their eagerness 
not only to be participating in this event, but also to be in the Kingdom of Bahrain, where they have received a great amount of hospitality. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. This is my third trip to Bahrain. I love coming to the Kingdom and meeting locals and inspiring people to get into sports. It's great to be here. Uh, phenomenal. I have my own chauffeur and I'm staying in a beautiful accommodation. But more importantly, everyone is so friendly and kind and I'm just having a wonderful time. The event will continue tomorrow at 5 a.m. in the Avenues Park. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Abdurrahman al Sahaf. In the presence of the National Guard Commander General, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Vice Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the club organized the sixth race of the season, which was held on the GPIC Cups, the Arabian Horse Foundation Equestrian and Veterinary Services Cup, and the Credit Max Cup on the racetrack of the club in Al Rafa Sakhir. The races was also attended by His Highness Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Mohammed bin Salman al-Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa al-Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa al-Khalifa, representatives of the sponsors of the race and an audience of horse racing fans. The winners of the cups were awarded were the Credit Max CEO Yusuf Ali Mirza who presented the first half to James Naylor while the general manager of the manufacturing at Gulf Petrochemical Industries Company, GPIC, Yasser Abdurrahim Al Abbasi presented the trophies to the winners of the second half to the winner James Naylor and the fourth half to His Highness Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa and the sixth half cup to Abdullah Fawzi Nas. Then the cups of the Arabian Horse Foundation for Equestrian and Veterinary Services were awarded to the winners Ziad Hassan Madhoub, who presented the third half cup to Dean Bast. Then Sajjad Hassan Madhoub gave the fifth cup to Ali Mansouri, while Ali Hassan Madhoub presented the seventh half to Hassan Shamut. Bahraini players made a winning penalty shootout to propel the national team to the final match of Khaliji 25 football tournament, 24 football tournament for the Gulf Cup. Iraq scored the first goal of the match in the sixth minute, but Bahrain equalized two minutes later thanks to Abdullah Hazza, who headed the ball into the net. Ibrahim Bayish gave the lead once more to Iraq, but Mohammed Marhoun succeeded to draw the game level in the dying second of the first half. The 2-2 draw between Bahrain and Iraq after 120 minutes led to spot kicks. The Bahraini players scored all the kicks, and with this victory, our national team will move to the final match, which is being held next Sunday with Saudi Arabia.